Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, you will learn how to connect the US G6000 to an AD server. The AD server is a common authentication server. The US G6000 can send authentication requests to an AD server to authenticate users. Therefore, we need to set AD server connection parameters on the US G6000. The connection parameters on the US G6000 must be consistent with those on the AD server. Now we are going to talk about how to obtain the connection parameters. At first, let's briefly talk about the AD server. The AD server manages users based on AD domains, and the top node is the AD domain name. An AD domain comprises the organizational units and users of an enterprise and the organizational units on the AD server correspond to user groups on the US G6000. To check parameters, such as DIN and filtering fields, use the AD Explorer or LDAP browser to connect to the AD server. We use the AD Explorer as an example. Open the AD Explorer, and enter the AD server IP address, administrator account, and password to connect to the AD server. Then the AD server attributes are displayed. Each DN uniquely identifies the position of a node in the directory tree. It is a path from the top level domain to the position. For example, this is the DN of the AD domain. And this is the DN of user test 1. Now we'll learn how to set the connection parameters on the US G6000, based on the information displayed in the AD Explorer. Choose Object, Authentication Server, AD, and click Add. Enter the server name. Enter the AD Server IP address. Enter the AD Server host name, including the domain name. We can also configure high availability for the server, but we are not going to talk about that in this course. Enter the base DN, where you start searching a user. Usually we enter the DN of the AD domain. Keep the default setting of the port. The user filtering field and group filtering field determine the user and user group attributes that the US G6000 will use. Usually, we use the default settings. SM account name on the AD server stands for the login name and OU stands for the organizational unit, like the user group on the US G6000. The administrator account is used for identity authentication when the US G6000 is connected to the AD server. If the AD server allows anonymous authentication, Select Bind an Anonymous Administrator. If the AD server does not allow anonymous authentication, configure the administrator parameters. Set the DN of the AD server administrator. Usually, an administrator is in the user's group. Note that attached base DN is selected. Therefore, we do not need to enter the full path of the administrator DN. Enter the administrator password and confirm password. After all connection parameters are set, click Detection. Then enter a username and password that exist on the AD server to test the server connectivity. So far, the US G6000 is connected to the AD server. Before we end this course, let's look back on how to connect to the AD server, which emphasizes on how to obtain the three parameters. This is the end of this course. For details on AD authentication configuration, refer to the product documentation. Thank you for staying with us.